eternal God of grace and mercy, we are grateful to you this afternoon. We commit this ceremony unto your hand that you will come and lead our face. Let all things work together for our good. Indeed, bless this couple in Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. We we'll take a hymn.
CGC LM Temple. I am standing in the stead of my senior pastor, Reverend Kojo Amwasari, who happens to be the area supervising minister for Tema West area. Amen. Um, due to certain um, challenges, he couldn't be here. He actually meant to be here. And so he asked me to send you his greetings. And wherever he is, he is with us in the spirit. Amen. God bless you. And so, dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the presence of the Almighty God. And before this congregation to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, the marriage covenant is ordained by God for the sharing of the deepest and most affectionate of fellowship between a man and a woman in love, to give birth to and to raise God's children to fill the world. The holy ordinance also expresses in the natural world, the mystical union of love that exists between Christ Jesus and his glorious church. The scriptures have declared that the marriage covenant be kept unbroken, except that part or announce it. It should also be faithfully kept honorable in the sight of God and man for a testimony to all and to fulfill God's purpose of making the world a home of love, joy, peace, and of friendship. It is to this sacred covenant that these two persons come now to be joined. I require of you, Alexander and Leticia, to declare and confess if there be any reason why you may not be lawfully joined together in this covenant. Alexander Adadi, will you have Leticia Sobajo to be your wedded wife? If you will, say, I will. I will. Wow. Put your hands together for him. <laughs> Leticia Sobajo, will you have Alexander Adadi to be your wedded husband? If you will, say, I will. I will. Who gives... Leticia in marriage to Alexander. Yes. I am Kentete. Okay. Uh, they have duly performed the ne necessary customs in line with our tradition. Wow. Put your yeah, hands together. Are... God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Congregation, please be seated whilst I have the couple coming up stage. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13 from verse 1 to 13 and it reads, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels but have not love, I become a sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains but I have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor and though I give my body to be burned but have not love it profit me nothing love suffers long and it's kind love does not envy love does not parade itself it's not puffed up does not behave rudely does not seek its own it's not provoked thinks no evil does, does not rejoice in iniquity but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never fails. But whatever they are, whether they are prophecies, they will fail. Whether they are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect has come, then that which is in, in part will be done away. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall see. Sorry, I shall know just as I also am known. And now abide faith, hope, love. These three, but the greatest. 
of this is love. Amen. Alexander, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? If you have, say, I have. I have. Have you received the Holy Spirit to dwell in you? If you have, say, I have. I have. Leticia, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? If you have, say, I have. I have. Have you received the Holy Spirit to dwell in you? If you have, say, I have. I have. Alexander, do you take Leticia as your wife, as your own flesh to love her, even as Christ loves the church, to protect her and to care for her the rest of your lives? If you do, say, I do. I do. Then turn to Leticia and make this commitment to her. When you say I, you mention your name. Okay. I? I, Adade Alexander. Please look at the eyeball of your beautiful bride. Amen. Hallelujah. Great. So you will say it again, right? I? Adade Alexander. Take you. Take you, Leticia Mamli Sobojo. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. From this day onwards. From this day onwards. To love. To love. Cherish. Cherish. And honor you. And honor you. All the days. All the days. Of my life. Of my life. Except death. Except death. Separate us. Separate us. I will hold you. I will hold you. In the highest esteem. In the highest esteem. Above all women. Above all women. And protect you. And protect you. With all my strength. With all my strength. Wisdom. With. Wisdom. With. Wisdom. With. And insight. And insight. My wealth. My wealth. Shall be your wealth. Shall be your wealth. My home. My home. Shall be your home. Shall be your home. My dreams. My dreams. Shall be your dreams. Shall be your dreams. And my God. And my God. Shall be your God. Shall be your God. I will learn. I will learn. To understand you. To understand you always, always, and promise, and promise that throughout, that throughout our lives, our lives in triumph, in trials, and in triumphs, and in triumph, in good times, in good times, and in bad times, and in bad times, I, I will always, will always remain, remain a loving, the lucky, and a faithful husband, and a faithful husband with this vow, with this vow. I now promise, I now promise to be one with you. To be one with in you. this holy covenant, in the holy covenant of love, of love. Amen. Put your hands together for our brother. Amen. Leticia, so turn and face me. Leticia, do you take Alexander as your husband? Listen to me carefully. Do you take Alexander as your husband, submitting yourself to him as? unto the Lord showing reverence to him as the head of this union for the rest of your lives. If you do, say I do. I do. If you do, then turn to him and make this commitment of love. When I say I, you say your full name. I take you to be my wedded husband from this day onwards to love, to love cherish, cherish and, honor and honor you all the days, all the days of, my life. of my life except death, except death. Separate, us. separate us I will hold you, I will hold in, you the in the highest esteem above all men, above all men and, help you and help you with all my strength, with all my strength. wisdom Wisdom. And insight. And insight. My, wealth my wealth shall be your wealth. Shall be your wealth. My, home my home shall be your home. Shall be your home. My, dreams my dreams shall be your dreams. Shall be your dreams. And, my God and my God shall be your God. Shall be your God. I will submit to you, I will submit to you always, always and promise, and promise that, that throughout, throughout our, lives, our lives in trials, in trials and, in triumphs, and in triumphs in good times, in good times and bad times, and bad times. I, I will always, will always remain, remain a loving, a loving and, a faithful wife. and a faithful wife. With this vow, with this vow I, now promise I now promise to be one with you, to be one with you in this holy covenant, in this holy covenant of, love. of love. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together for her.
Hallelujah. Okay. May I have the bright ring? Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you sanctify this ring for the use of your son and daughter. We pray that wherever this precious metal was taken from in any part of the world and on this earth, we separate this and sanctify it for their use. We pray that no spirit can have influence on this. Cause that as an emblem, it, was, it will always remind them of your faithfulness, even in Jesus' name. Amen. A ring is a very precious thing. It's a token of your faith and your love. A ring is made out of precious metal. It's a never-ending circle that indicates the continuing love of God. A love that never fails and never presents itself selfish or puffed up. The love of God and the faith of God is what causes his power to move in your lives. I want you to wear this ring as a continual reminder of your faith and of the vows you have made to each other and unto God. The word of God says, Above all, take the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fairy darts of the wicked one. If anyone could break this union, it will be Satan. So give him no place, absolutely give him no place, for this is forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Alexander, I will have you take this ring. Turn to Leticia. Look at her. Beautiful. Good. And take hold of the marital finger. And as I say this, we repeat. Amen. Say after me. With this ring. With this ring. I pledge to you. I pledge to you. Alex. Look at her eyes. Amen. With this ring, with this ring, I pledge to you. I pledge to you my lasting commitment. My lasting commitment. I believe. I believe with all my heart. With all my heart that this that this is forever. That this is forever. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together. May I have the groom's ring, please? Beautiful. Thank you. A ring can mean two different things. It can be a never-ending sign of love. It can also be a shackle and a bondage. I'm going to charge you Alex, with a memory you should always keep. Leticia stands by your side and not at your feet. You have the responsibility of being the head of this union. You have spiritual responsibilities also. I want you to wear this ring in remembrance that she is your mate and it must never be a shackle of dominance, but always a reminder of your faith and of your love. Leticia, I want you to place this ring on Alexis' finger with this thing in mind. There is no place in the word of God that gives people right to dominate one another. Your vows have stated that you will submit to one another in the responsibilities of this life, expecting God and his power to always make the difference. So place this ring on his finger and as you do, say this to him. With this ring, with this ring, I pledge to you. I, I pledge to you my lasting commitment. My lasting commitment. I believe. I believe with all my heart. With all my heart that this that this is forever. Is forever in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. Oh, clap your hands. Listen, church, church. The feathers they can do is to cover your mouth but they did not seize your hands. Clap your hands to the glory of the living God. Amen. Wow. All right. So, Alex, help your beautiful bride to kneel, and then you kneel by her. 
Whilst they are doing that, I would like to invite all the men of God in the house to join me upstage, even as we pray for the couple. Amen. At the right time, we'll introduce and mention all their names. Hallelujah. 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 Now, with these things, let me pronounce you married, and then we'll all pray. So please, you can stand at the other side. All right. In as much as Alex and Leticia have consented to dwell together and have so declared by their vow and commitment one to another, as a representative of Jesus Christ before God Almighty and in the power of the Holy Spirit, a licensed and ordained minister of the International Central Gospel Church, I now pronounce you married. You are now husband and wife. And what God has joined together, let no man, let no woman, let no in-law or friend put asunder. For this is forever in Jesus' name. Say a big amen. Oh, clap your hands to the glory of the living God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Wow. Amen. Oh, I said amen. Oh, I said amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Right. I would need us to stretch forth our hands and we pray for them. Please listen. I have done this severally and I have no apology for that and I will continue to say it anywhere and everywhere. If you know that when you stretch your hand, you are not blessing them but you are cursing them, put your hand down. Hallelujah. Very, 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 very important. And I say it without any apology. I beg of you, if you know stretching your hand towards them, you are not blessing them, but you are saying other words. Put your hand down and keep quiet. Because if I pick you, you'll be in trouble. Thank you. I like the way the place is quiet. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Now stretch forth your holy hand and begin to pray for them. Pray for them that God will bless them. God will increase them. God will let this marriage go beyond any, any barrier. God will let this marriage transcend time. In the name of Jesus, they will be successful. Go ahead, bless them. Go ahead, bless them. Go ahead, bless them. In the mighty name of Jesus, go ahead and pray for them. Go ahead, pray for them. Pray that God will bless them. Pray that God will increase them. Pray that God will bless them. God will give them the fruit of the womb. God will let any family cares not come around them. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come on, go ahead. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Pray for them. In the name of Jesus. Pray, pray, pray. Lift up your voice. Talk to the Lord. In the name of Jesus. So la baha sabalahata. Ikala bosada balababaha. Bandose, brandose, yataka kaba. Sorry. 
ya gina wani mu a ya si ya hye wani onyam san so ye kesi ne wa ye no ya nwanwa ya san di wo meba wani bio ewade bio soro na mo wa dum samra won so inshira en kwaje ami ayemu ye adum eni kwoso ewade fa dum wo afen so ewade ya ho ne aye ka ne se nipa ma e nipa ma na mo adum fro inti e mira nkro fo ahye apam yi mu ma won kon kon ni ocha no e me kata won so e mu bu adaban biara ishe biara akodi biara o tan fo ahye e wa awari mu no e wadi se ni nyina ma awari ka busu amie nu mmom na e busu anya nhira na wa she won nyam ye nyu nyam me pompa se e wadi mu e kwan e wo ma wari mu na afei on hira mu nyansa ni medie ahobrase ni nyam suro afei onfa awo on hira mu afei onfa sika en hira mu afei onfa kwantinti en hira mu na ma wari nya kono en she christ en yo nyam se ni ani padomo e wa hai dia ho nyina tamo echi no sa osu ni ya bu osuru se osuru osu en tamo echi na nyam nsa aye kese wo musu mo asifu e me ni pa kese akese mo asifu e me ye nhira mo asifu e me ya defo me asifu e me ni patriot titru abraham mo nya kopon ni nhira no wo fa ngumu so sana rade nsa odi atumo so no eni ni ni wo so en fa ngu sra eni yedi eni atum en fa sra mo kristo yesu dimu ni e bon pai amen Rev to also pray for them shortly. And so, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. We bless you for what you have done. And we thank you for starting them on this journey. We believe that what you've given to them as the foundation, yes, your word, will guide them through. This journey is an endless one. Until you come or death separates them, continue to give them the strength to walk your way it is for better for worse in their better moments may they remain grateful unto you in their worst times may you become their hope let them know that sorrow may last for a night but joy comes in the morning we pray that all the blessings in the spiritual places in heavens that you have for couples may these have their portion in jesus name amen Hallelujah. Thank you so much, men of God. Please take your seat. Now help your wife to, to stand. So you face each other. Please stand and face each other. Alex, look at her eyes. Amen. Alex, you may now unveil. Amen. Powerful. Go ahead. Allow him to be free. Amen. Brent and Wabrepa. Hallelujah. Very important. I will name you Apple Wabra. Okay, a better one by heart. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. Uh, are you clapping? Are you jealous or I don't get it? Oh. Clap your hands to the glory of the living God. Lexo, what's up? Good things. <laughs> which, which one are you looking at? This one. Go ahead. COVID or no COVID? <laughs> Put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Please stand and face me. Amen. Um, we'll take the communion straight ahead. And so, 
um, if you can change your position. Yes. Help, your wife. Help your wife to kneel. Then we take the communion and then we can quickly. All right. Hallelujah. Oh, I said hallelujah. Up until today, Alex has been taking communion as an individual. Leticia has been taking communion as an individual. But this very afternoon, they are going to take communion as a couple. Hallelujah. The Bible says that the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and when he has given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body. And in likewise manner, he took the cup and after giving thanks, he said, this is my blood. It tells that for Jesus to say, it's my new covenant, it tells that tonight, this afternoon, you have stepped into a new arena where the covenant of God is very much working in your life. As a result, the new chapter of marriage is opened for you. May you not make the mistakes your parents made. Are you hearing me? Whatever battled them and fought them, may you overcome I believe that when Jesus gave his blood and his body, it was to fortify the, the disciples for the challenges ahead because life cannot just be on a silver platter. I pray that this will strengthen your inner man. It will boost you and ginger you, not to look at what is happening, but to focus on him who died and resurrected. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so serve your wife. Good, and serve yourself. Now, take the glass and serve your wife. Oh, is that all? Amen. The, the journey is far. Hallelujah. Oh, the, I said the journey is far. Powerful. But put your hands together for him. Amen. Amen. Please rise to your feet. Rise up. Hallelujah. Oh, I said hallelujah. Now, I want to bless you before I would share the word of God with us. The Bible says, Galatians chapter 3, the Bible says, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, so that the blessing of Abraham might come upon us, the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might be heirs of the promise of the Spirit. First Peter chapter 3 states, a husband and wife are heirs together of the grace of life. I'm going to read to you your blessings and your inheritance. So listen carefully. According to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, all these blessings will come on you and overtake you if you hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city and blessed shall you be in the country. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body, the produce of your ground, and the increase of your cattle and of the offspring of your flock. Blessed, blessed shall you be when you come in and blessed shall you be when you go out. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before your face. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. The Lord will command blessings on you in your storehouse and in all to which you set your hand and he will bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. The Lord will establish you as a holy people unto himself. Just as he has sworn to you, if you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways, then all the people of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord and they shall be afraid of you. And the Lord will grant you plenty of goods in the fruit of your body, in the increase of your livestock, in the produce of your ground, and in the land of which the Lord swore to your fathers to give you. The Lord will open to you his good treasure, the heavens, and give you rain in its season. And to bless all the work of your hand, 
You shall learn to many nations, but not borrow. The Lord will make, your head, make you the head and not the tail. You shall be above only and not beneath. And if you heed to the commandment of the Lord your God, which you command today, and are careful to obey them, hallelujah, we pray that the grace of God will rest upon you. I pray that the hand of the Lord rest upon you. I pray that the face of the Lord will shine upon you. Even in Jesus' name, say amen. amen. People of God, clap your hands even as they take their seat. Please take your seat. The presence of the living God. Um, I would rather take the song ministration. Let's take the song ministration. Sister Georgina, Georgia, I do appear if she's here. She should give us a song and then the word of God will come very briefly. And uh, we will be out of here. Thank you. Put your hands together and let's receive song ministry. Mm -hmm.
sister and also with us the anointed men of God in the house who came to grace the occasion Bible says there was a wedding and Jesus and his disciples were there and so we want to salute all these men of God who are here right Reverend Richmond Kojo Taylor Church of Pentecost Agomena if you are here beautiful put your hands together for right Reverend we also have Reverend Mrs. Ofe Bedu, PIWT Committee 7. Reverend and Mrs. Ofe Bedu, PIWT Committee 7. Wow. That's all for God bless you. Um, we also have Apostle Joseph Kweku Ahin. Apostle. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hallelujah. And then I also have Mrs. Taylor, Church of Pentecost, Agomena. She's here. All right. God bless you. Amen. And then we also have the distinguished personality of the Holy Spirit. Put your hands together and welcome the Holy Spirit. He's been here all this while. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Bow down your head with me. Your word is food. Your word comes to liven us up. The word that created the universe, let that same word rekindle a new spirit within us. Cause us not to be the same. I yield my member unto you that spirit of God, you will communicate truth to your people. Let your name Jesus be glorified. Even in Jesus' name, amen. Put your hands together for the Lord once again. And so like I said, my boss, my senior brother, my colleague, my friend, everything. Reverend Kojo Amasari, he's the senior pastor here. And I'm called Graft Johnson from ICGC Elim Temple. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, a baby church for this church. Amen. We're born from here. Amen. Hallelujah. And so I'm standing in my, my, my father's big shoes. And I trust that I will speak the counsel of God with us. Amen. Please, what I'm going to share with you is the scripture. And don't be angry with the word of God. Amen. All right. I want us to look at a scripture from the book of Ephesians chapter 5. I love to always preach from this very scripture when I'm meeting a couple for the very first time. The reason being that a lot of us marry when we are still sleeping. We marry when we are still thinking we are single. We marry because we want friends to see we are married, but we forget about the work that is in marriage. Hallelujah. There is something going on in town and on the internet. Before the man will propose, he kneels down and tells the woman, will you marry me? No problem. Continue. Hallelujah. Oh, I said hallelujah. It makes the society excited. Is it wrong? It's not wrong. Is it bad? It's not bad. But what happens? Because that is not marriage. That is just making your friends happy. But when we get into marriage and there is work, then we tend to give up. As they are seated, they are looking beautiful. But I want you to know, after everybody has enjoyed with you through the champagne and the, and the rice, they will leave the two of you alone. In the book of Luke chapter 4, Jesus told the disciples that you are not going to fish fish, you fish men. That is where the difficulty is. Now he's no more the friend you knew. He's going to be your husband. He's going to be your wife. You see her face every time. 
Hallelujah. And this is where it becomes quite the devil will make it difficult for you to serve him or serve her. This is where the devil can now come in and say all kinds of things. I read a lot of scriptures from the book of Corinthians where you saw love, what love means. Love is not what you write on social media. It's what you do. Praise God. Oh, I said praise God. I said praise God. I came to encourage some people. This is, I'm laying my foundation before we read the scripture. It's very important that we take what we call counseling serious. Because whatever you are being told, it's not saying, they are not saying that same thing will happen, but similar. Advise yourself and know, and then you flow. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's read the scripture from the book of Ephesians chapter 5, and I'm reading from verse 10. And find out what pleases the Lord. Have nothing to do with fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. Verse 12. Sorry, Ephesians chapter 5, the verse 12. It is shameful even to mention what the disobedient do in secret, but everything exposed by the light becomes visible. And everything that is illuminated becomes a light. This is why it is said, wake up, sleeper, from, from the dead. And Christ will shine on you. Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise. Making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the, what the Lord's will is. Hallelujah. Oh, I said hallelujah. People of God, the writer of this very scripture was trying to let us understand certain things before. He, when you read and you get to the verse 22, it talks about the, 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 the verse 21, Ephesians chapter 5, talks about submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. Then the verse 22, submit, uh, sorry, wives, submit to yourself to your own husbands as unto the Lord, for the husband is the head. A lot of the time when we go to marriages or ceremonies, this is the scripture that is read to us. But the foundation is that we need to arise. We need to wake up from sleep. Wake up from your single life. Wake up from your stinginess. Wake up from your prayerlessness. Wake up from your laziness. I was married in 2012. For eight years, we had no child. I had to believe God and rise up. Because when my wife calls any of our church members' son or daughter, that mother will hold the child and pull the child back. Who was the nation? My wife has gone through humiliation. Just before lockdown, God gave me a bouncing baby boy. Woo! Hallelujah. Hall when I look at the boy, I say, where this one? And by the Obi and Hun, because he was born just before lockdown. So we have all been inside. And this is where the work is. Come and see me change diaper. Beautiful. I love that. No, 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 no. I mean. Ah, we go to church, he sit on my desk. You cannot sit on that desk. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. There is work. Young people of today have refused to work in marriage. That is why marriages are breaking. Don't sit down for the world to tell you what is not scriptural. In this is not democracy. In this is theocracy. You did not stand here to take an oath lifting the constitution. We spoke through the word of God. Say amen. amen. So if you have not learned what your responsibilities are, I want to encourage you, get back and get it right. Listen to me. I'm going to make a statement. Women don't take offense because that is the truth. Whether you become an engineer, a lawyer, a professor, whoever you are, it is not because of that office. It's because of your children. When you get to heaven, they will not ask you how many achievements you had on the, on the world map. It is how godly your home was. The world is crashing because the people left to manage the world are bad. Why? Because parents do not take eye to take care of children. They are rather taking care of somebody's machines, somebody's PC. You run around from early morning till late night. Your children have not seen you. you they don't even know how to say sorry. All the money you have, you are sitting in that AC, but your home is down, it's bad. 
The reason is that you don't like it, I've told you. Hallelujah. I married an engineer, a telecom engineer. I, I've been a mason and God called me. Amen. But what happens is that we had to sit down and look at the Bible. So when our baby came and my wife will now know the food he must eat, a little protein, a little this, a little that, I said, come on. This is the message God gave me. Your engineering, how to measure, how to do this, add this, and do that. It was because of the child. A lot of us have been to school and in the home, it has become competition. The world is telling you what a man can do and a woman can do. It is not true. They lie to you. Mm. I know the way you are sitting there, you are looking at this pastor. What is he trying to say? <laughs> Wearing trousers. Your trousers is a female trousers. It's not the man's one. You don't want to clap. Don't clap. No problem. <laughs> hallelujah. Oh, I said hallelujah. The writer said, awake from the sleep. You who is sleeping. Awake from the dead. Arise and do something. If you used to spend money anyhow, know that no. There is a family you must take care of. You used to talk anyhow, no. You used to live your life anyhow, no. Every little information you have, you keep spreading among friends, no. Sometimes I see, I know that God looks at men and women and give them their befitting wives and husbands. So when you say your wife or your husband is wicked, it is good for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. That person is what? Oh, a person we are here. Hallelujah. Because you see, I always say the mystery of love, the mystery of love. Look at God. Bible said, for God so loved the world that he gave. God is a spirit. He should have loved somebody who is spirit. He should have fallen in love with the spirit. But he fall in love with man. So often, you will see a tall man in love with short woman. Fair man in love with dark woman. Hello. Plumpy in love with very slim. You will ask yourself, what is this? But that is the mystery. So you, love will always go where it's not accepted. That is love. So that when you go, you prevail for love to conquer all. But unfortunately, when we get there and they begin to throw it at our face, we tend to give up. We need to learn endurance. We need to learn to hold on. Marriages that have divorced, they could not have divorced if the two of them were to know that that is the will of God. You didn't marry your enemy. Hello? Today is nice. But when there is disagreement and you get angry and you start throwing phones at your TV, remember that you told God that you love her. I have seen that men cannot finish understanding women. We can't finish. That course, you will do it till you die. Can Amen. Mm -hmm. That course is very powerful. Women are like onions. You can open and the first skin is very nice. The inside one is rotten. You don't give up. Keep peeling that one. Go. You'll see another fresh one. But men are like oranges. You open them, they flash in your eyes and you can still go ahead and eat. Say amen. Uh. Hallelujah. I came with a short word to encourage you. Brother, arise. Sister, arise. Let us leave those elementary stuff behind. Let us leave those childish play behind. This thing is not a joke, I am telling you. If your counselor or your friends or your parents have not told you, and you see, the painful thing and that thing that I do, marriage people still don't share what is it that is in there. So you see, this is so beautiful. But bro, there is work. You have to pull up this, this jacket and fold your sleeves and begin to work. My bread. Saturday night, I want to have my... No, 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 no. Baby hasn't slept. The both of us are on standby waiting because we think everybody must be there. That is work. I know a man... The baby impossible. me me some more. No, no, you must learn. No, you must learn. For the first time that my wife gave birth, I cook at home. Hmm. A senior pastor, and so what? I cook. Oh yeah, I cook. Then she'll be like, ah, but there is food in there. I say, no. It's your buffalo. I'm saying one. Fancy I'm saying you ma. We should call you because amen. Oh, you don't want to clap your hands. I'm still preaching. Hallelujah. So I've learned. No, no, I have to. 
I go on the net and check one or two things in addition to what my mother taught me. Some men don't even know how to stir tea. tea. Say, I will hear the man. Obobubu, obey abroa. Help each other. Amen. Amen. Oh, the, the men don't like it. So let me close. Father. Hallelujah. Oh, I said hallelujah. Sisters, you are looking so beautiful. I need you individually in every single lady and every single man. Please go and learn that which will make your marriage successful. Nobody has left marriage and is happy. Nobody. The world will tell you, oh, because you see, when you put a, a, a battered bread, hmm, the two together, and you open them. Now, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And every marriage has what it takes to survive. A hand tiny journey pride. That is what has made the two of you go your own way because you are selfish. I'm speaking the truth. Oh, butterfly in my belly. Hallelujah. Is somebody getting what I'm talking about? So it's not just about friends saying hello, it's nice. It's about the work. If this marriage is going to be what it must be, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, when the times get tough, we should see the two of you holding your hands and making it through. That is when we will say that it's successful. It's not just the ceremony. No. Amen. Amen. And so I want to encourage you and I pray God's blessings over your life. That this thing that is happening in the world, you will not just flow, but you look at what the will of God is and you follow. If the Bible will be your rock, God will be with you. If you want social media to be your friend, I can tell you it won't last. Can we close now? My time is up. Can amen. amen. Oh, I said can amen. amen. People of God, I came to encourage you. Don't go into wedding ceremonies and think that is all. Keep praying for them. I met a pastor friend when we were talking. He said, There are some women and there are some men when you marry them. The devil comes to call all his agents that are working on the man. He said, you require enough. Do you understand? You marry a wrong man or a wrong woman. The demons that are dealing with the person, the devil will call them back, retreat, because the one he has married is enough. He will deal with him for you. He will deal with her for you. I pray that whatever troubled your parents will not trouble you. That you will stand on the word of God. Some of you, when you leave out of here, God is never part of you. Dinner, lunch, breakfast, brunch, everything you are eating, you are eating, you are eating. No. Pray. Make sure you go to church. Make your, also, do you know you are now a priest of your home? The day you got married, you become a pastor. Young man, your word of God must be there. These people, they are very intelligent. If you don't know, they won't follow you. If you know, they will follow you. So no. Amen. Rise to your feet. It looks like the word you didn't like it, but don't worry. God knew that I've told you his counsel. Amen. Shall we please close our eyes? Father, we thank you for speaking your word and your counsel to us. Bless us. Let it be that this couple will walk in your grace. Cause their lives never to be the same. We disconnect them from anything that will harm them. Holy Spirit, you are the master teacher. Keep teaching them. Help them on this path. Let them navigate their lives through this world. And that all things and all glory will be ascribed to you. We thank you. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. All right. All right. So, we're going to, please take your seat. Um, we will be going to the office to sign. And whilst we are away... We're going to take love offering. In this church, we take only one offering. And the whole offering goes to the couple. So I want to encourage us, give a very good love offering. Say amen. amen. Hallelujah. So please, no one CD, no. I don't even need to say that. Take good, you can even sign a check. Hallelujah. Very good. And give them a good package. And then let them start life 
with it. God bless you. So they will give us some songs whilst the protocol will help us to take the offering and then we can go and sign and come back. God bless you. We will take uh, two, two um, family members from the man and then two family members from the woman. God bless you.
Bye. 
Somebody who cares When I found you Found my most intimate prayer When I found you I found what every heart dreams of When I found you I found love When I found you, I found the rest of my life When I found you, I told all others goodbye When I found you, I saw my fears fly away like a dove When I found you, I found love Somebody who cares When I found you Found my most intimate prayer When I found you I found what every heart dreams of When I found you I found love When I found you, I found the rest of my life When I found you, I told all others goodbye When I found you, I saw my fears fly away like a dove When I found you, I found love From up 